lunch. Cauliflower pizza crust from Trader Joe's. We have these mushrooms, these like insanely beautiful mushrooms from Costco. And then this basil pesto, also this huge container was 97 cents. It's really good. I'm not saying it's better than the Trader Joe's. I'm saying it's like a little different. Like it's more like home style. I feel like the Trader Joe's basil pesto is like, has more sophistication to it. And then we have some Italian cheese. I'm trying to pick out all the spinach from here. Um, and then, so I've already made the crust, like heated that up for like 15 minutes, and then I added the pesto. We have the mushrooms, and we're just gonna add everything else, black pepper, bake it again, and see what it looks like. Okay, I might have gone a little overboard. We went pesto, mushroom, spinach, another thin layer of mushroom, a little more pesto, and a little more cheese. There's like, it's like lasagna, kind of. We're happening, yeah. Okay, yes, super excited. Good morning. It is still before noon, it's like 11 something. And it is Sunday, Sunday. I didn't do, well I didn't go out yesterday. I stayed home and did more cleaning. My goal is to kind of like have the whole house together by the end of the year. Um, and I think it'll happen. Uh, I think I'm making pretty good time on everything. So, uh, fresh dye last night, so it's still a little dark. I always feel like it's quite dark when I first dye it, although I do like it, and then it becomes, you know, brassier as the days go on. So, today I'm gonna go to like a bougier part of town because I really wanna go to like a big Sephora and just like swatch a lot. And I have some returns to Nordstrom Rack and TJ Maxx and you know, the usual things. And I'm gonna drop Sumo off with my brother. Just, I don't know, cause this place is like 40 minutes away. So I'm probably gonna be gone for like most of the day. Okay, so let's do kind of a quick Aldi haul. They have these little cute, you know how like when people do stuff crusts on pizzas, this is like, just the crust, so it's kind of cute. I mean, it's gonna be really good. Baby spinach for everything. We have perfect bars at Alti, Alti, Aldi. These seasonal cheeses are back. Okay, so I had this one last year, the salted caramel, so good. And then they have the apple, which I skipped because I didn't really like the apple one that much. And then this one, I don't know if I tried or not, but the maple one sounds good, right? Apple cider donuts, I'm hoping these are good. Um, oh my god guys, Walmart, ugh, go to your Walmart and like check out the bakery section. I got these like mini cupcakes that were like, was it like caramel apple or car, oh my god, they were so good. Um, half and half, a spinach feta pizza. We have almond milk, vanilla for coffee, and then regular almond milk. Two dozen eggs. Okay, so I have like a TJ Maxx bag here and a Sephora bag. Okay, so from TJ Maxx we have two of these EcoTool seamless stippling. I don't know, like these are like smaller heads. I have a larger one. I don't know if I just haven't seen these at Ulta lately or Walmart, but they were $2.99 at TJ Maxx, so I got two of them. And then I love these like wet brushes. So they had these, these were $3.99 and they're like rose gold and beautiful and studded. They had silver too. Um, the one I have now is just kind of dying. So I'm like, well, I've been looking. Is it weird? Cause I keep, I've been looking for like six months now for a new one, but I just never liked the designs that were on them. Then I saw these and I was like, oh, so pretty. So from Sephora, I really wasn't gonna get anything at all until I saw that these were 100 point perks, the super restorative eye concentrate. So I bought one of these. I have one of these already. It's in the shade Creme Brulee. It's a Sephora Melting Lip Clicks. Get these, I love them. I have Creme Brulee and I have like caramel, I think. So the pink and the brown. But these were 100 white perks. I'm like, can I get more than one? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, give me three. Because I think the full size is like 15. Is it 15 or 16 milliliters? And these are seven each. So this combined is more than a full size. That's like $65. I mean, this is like an amazing perk. Anyway, yes. Good morning, it is Monday morning. I have kind of a pink shirt on. Is it like, it's like a salmon-y pink. Okay, basically it's the same shirt I wear all the time, but it's in a different color. Um, I do wear the black one the most. I have like a bajillion of those. But every so often I try to buy other colors. I have some of like, these like dustier shades, like 
nudes. Um, the red one is finally back. I bought one like last year and I stained it and I couldn't get the stain out, so I couldn't get it. And then I can't wait for like the, the olive green one to come back. I'm gonna buy like two of those. Um, the one thing I will say is I feel like the shades, or not the shades, the sizes are a little inconsistent. Like I can wear an extra small and the black ones um, and they're like they look more fitted on me and then I can wear the small one too when I want it to be just like a slightly looser I mean they're loose anyway but I bought this like kind of like mustardy one and I couldn't even move my arms in the extra small and then so I bought a small and that one's like super blousey on me so I don't know and then this one I got this in a small but I think it could have done like an extra small I don't know maybe I'm like in between sizes right now or maybe good morning it is Tuesday morning and oh. we are going to the oral surgeon today to get this tooth extracted very far back so, so root canal and then it did not work he redid the root canal the endodontist and then we thought it was good it was like two three months I went to my dentist and put a crown on it and it was fine for even like a month maybe maybe two months and then the infection was back so that was money down the drain and now I have to get the tooth extracted okay so day after it cost me 275 which I still feel like that's a lot um, but more more importantly and more exciting okay sunglasses to show you guys sunglasses so I told you guys about the diff glasses that were on sale right so there's many of them that are like 50 bucks I think they even have some that are 25 but I tend to just go for a cat eye and these are the ones I saw and I was like I need these they have a tortoise um, I don't know what you call this part it's not a frame because it doesn't go around but they're called Goldie how awesome and fun are these so I think these are the, almost the exact same shape as the Becky glasses that I show you guys you know the, the gold frames with like the mirror lenses I think this is like the exact shape of those but just the whole thing is like lens and I'm not even kidding when I tell you that these are so amazingly made this is so thick it's not like that flimsy lens that you see in like these are thicker than like average sunglasses like they're so oh my god I love them now these are the gradient ones these are the I think moss brown like these are a fade so I'll link these specifically or I'll try to because I think when I link to them they just take you to the page where all of them are I think there's like six different options so these are usually like maybe like 85 and now they're like 50 and then this is a gold pair obviously I had to get a gold pair excuse me these are just a mirrored lens but how fun they also have one that's like it's, I think it's called a fire one, so it's kind of purple and red. I picked those up. After I got these in yesterday, I was like, oh, I'm grabbing those. And then there's another one that's like a purple and a taupey shit, taupe mirror. Um, so I'll just link them below. I think there's one that's like full black, but I think full black might be too, um, too much because it'd be very dark. I mean, if you were blonde or have lighter hair, I think it could work. And then there's another, probably another color that I didn't get, but... They're so nice. They're such a good price and the quality is so good. I think they're even better than tons of the like high-end luxury brands that I buy. I mean, we all know if they're like made in Italy, they often all come from like the same place. These are so good. And I think when I first started buying them, they collab with influencers a lot, right? But I mean, since then, like I think Demi Lovato's done something with them. Khloe Kardashian's collab with them. I see like Lisa Vanderpump like shilling the glasses on her Instagram. So like, oh, I'm so in love. Okay, so I have to like, I can't see anymore. Okay, good morning. I have been sneezing the entire morning. I think it's just like, I didn't wear enough clothing to bed, you know? Okay, so let me say some things about these sunglasses after I've been wearing them for a day Just to give you a more full review. So I still recommend them to you. Let me say some things about face shape though So I should just drive while I'm doing this. Oh, 
I'm gonna go to Walmart, guys. The bakery has been so good. Okay, yeah, I'll share it with you. Okay, so these sunglasses. If you don't have uh, like a nose, like I don't know what you call it, like a nose bridge here, I don't know how well they will stay on your face because while I really don't have a nose bridge there, I still have a little bit of turn up over here. So they stay up. If you have like a, a, a flatter nose, because I would say that these glasses naturally sit in this area. So they still are like sunglasses in it. They're like over my eyes, but they sit lower than sunglasses would normally sit on me. However, that being said, it doesn't hit my cheekbones, which is what I experience way more often with sunglasses, at least on average here. Um, the styles that are sold here, the fit always kind of hits my cheekbones. So if you have higher cheekbones, these won't interfere. But if you don't have a nose bridge or have a smaller nose or a flatter nose, it'll definitely come down lower, which I don't mind. And because this could be a pro and a con, it's a pro in that this nose piece that's built into the lens is so smooth that it doesn't like shift my makeup or anything, which I really enjoy. But then because there isn't a nose piece, you can't adjust it to like force the fit onto your, onto your face. You know what I'm saying? So keep those things in mind. Um, I don't want to like be like, oh my God, I love these glasses. And you buy them and you're like, these suck because it really depends on your face shape. Okay, good morning. It is Friday. I want to run through Walmart bakery stuff. Walmart has an excellent bakery. Let me see, hold on. Um, and it's also kind of like fall bakery things. Okay, so we're gonna go through this quickly and then I'm gonna give you my final thought, which I don't know why it is like this. Okay, first of all, ugh, we have the caramel apple cupcakes. They come in a pack of 16. They're like little mini cupcakes. They're so good. The icing on top is like a soft, whipped, creamy thing. I hate hard frosting. These are delicious. I have like two or three at a time, which is horrible, but they're delicious. Okay. Pumpkin snickerdoodle. These are pretty good. I mean, the, the cookie is perfect. It's soft, it's chewy. I just, it like, there's like less snickerdoodle than I would prefer. And then like the pumpkin is very light. So maybe if you like a, like a mild pumpkin snickerdoodle cookie, you could go for this. Their actual like regular snickerdoodle cookies, amazing. Those were like three bucks each, I think. 2.97 or whatever, depends on where you live. Then these were around $6 by me. They're the pumpkin cookie sandwiches and they look like this. These leave much to be desired. I just they have a carrot cake cookie with a cream cheese frosting that I'm absolutely gonna try because I feel like those are gonna be amazing. This is the thing, every year I feel fall comes around and I get really excited and I buy all the fall stuff and then I realize I really don't like pumpkin flavored things. Like I like maybe like a pumpkin cheesecake or something or, um, but I really don't like pumpkin flavored things. I also feel like I don't know, I get overexcited and every year I realize, oh, I really don't like pumpkin that much. I enjoy apple things. Um, hold on, more things to share with you. I went to Walmart really early in the morning yesterday and I didn't have any breakfast, so that explains like why this happened. Okay, so Tasty Cake. This is the caramel apple mini donuts. They have like a little bit of texture to them. If you have had their birthday cake donuts, same exact texture, except this again, it's just like whatever flavor, like it's okay, but if you like this, you have to try the birthday cake one. The birthday cake and the lemon powder ones are like my favorite from them. And then this is just a powder donut in like pumpkin spice flavor from Tasty Cake. These are good. I mean, they're good for like a powdered donut. Um, hopefully I don't share any more snacks with you guys that are like fall themed because I generally just don't like this stuff. Even like Trader Joe's, when fall rolls around, I'm usually not like, I get excited, right? Because you see stuff on the internet and you see like whatever. And then I get stuff and I don't really like it. Like their butternut squash, like, is it rigatoni or something? It's like the cylindrical pasta. Like it's okay, but like flavors are like, I don't know, maybe I'm not like a nutmeg person. 
Okay, these are delicious. These are from the Walmart bakery. They're the peanut butter fudge no bake cookies. You could easily make these at home, obviously, but it's like under $3 for like over a pound of these. This is 18 ounces, like such a good deal and so good. They have like peanut butter only ones. Those are okay, but those you can give to your dog, you know? This is like a very small Alta haul. Um, these not so much important, but these julep uh, eyeshadow crayons, one second. Okay, so I have three of them here. This one is Orchid Shimmer. Bronze Shimmer. Can you guys hear Sumo? <laughs> we just got home, so he's very excited. And then this one is Burgundy Shimmer. I've already put in an order for Olive Shimmer and the Forest Green Shimmer one. These are so nice. They're on sale for $11. They were on sale the entire sale. They're really smooth. They're like one of the smoothest kind of eye crayons I've used before because sometimes you get excellent color payoff, but they're like stickier. But these blend so easy. And then they have like a sponge tip and it's like it does a good job like it's not like a brush but like if you because these blend out easily this is pretty good especially like when i put these on the lower lash line every day i do an eye primer and then i do like a colored eye primer and these are just so easy to blend out they're regularly 22 they're on sale for 11 so i would recommend these to you i think the sale should still be going on when i upload this